You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, soap fans. This is Soap Dirt, and we are here with a special edition about General Hospital. Today, we're going to talk about who is Sonny Carenzos's soulmate. If you're a longtime watcher, you know that he's slept with three quarters of Port Charles and impregnated half of those, and he never lacks for female attention. He's had marriages, he's had kids, affairs, cheating, all kinds of stuff, but out of everybody that has been in the Teflon Don's bed and heart, which one does his heart and soul belong to? Who do you think is Sonny's soulmate on General Hospital? Let's dig in. And we're going to go through everybody, and then I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments on who you think is his soulmate. Who does he belong to? Because there's a lot of possibilities. So the first question we have to ask is, Sonny Corinthos destined to go back to Carly Corinthos Spencer on General Hospital? Hmm. That's a question, and that's something that a lot of fans think is definitely going to happen. Sonny and Carly have this complicated relationship, you know? From the start on the ABC soap, they were drawn to each other like a metal to magnet. He was a very, very bad boy back then, and she was a very bad girl. They've kind of mellowed, but back then, boy, those two were just trouble. And since Carly's debut on General Hospital, they have loved and hated each other and been off and on, you know, and there's been the the three actresses, the three primary actresses in the role, Laura Wright, Tamara Braun and Sarah Joy Brown, and they all had phenomenal chemistry with Maurice Baynard. Looking back, you know, there's been love and hate and passion with them. Sonny was there for her when she had all the baby daddy lies and drama with Michael Corinthos, and he later adopted him, and together they had and lost Morgan Corinthos, and then they had their late in life child, Donna Corinthos, and they united in that crisis of her spina bifida. But even beyond the kids, they have lied to each other, they cheated on one another, and they tormented each other for decades. And even now, a large swath of General Hospital fans still think that Carly and Sonny are destined to reunite and live out their lives together, even though she's with Drew Kane and he's with Nina now. But will those relationships crumble? Is Carly Sonny's soulmate? A lot of people think so. But there are other options. For instance, what about Brenda Barrett? Could she be the soulmate of Port Charles' top mobster? Hmm, let's think about that. Brenda and Sonny were a wildly popular pairing when Vanessa Marcel was on the show, and a lot of people really want to see her come back to General Hospital. Back when they first started hooking up, she was a teen beauty, and he was almost 30. But that did not stop sparks from flying. But other things stopped them, in addition to the age gap for a while, She's unlike many of the women in Sonny's romantic path on a subject in particular. She really does not have a lot of tolerance for his mob activities. A lot of the other women in his life have accepted, enabled, or just turned a blind eye to how he makes money illegally. But Brenda was kind of tougher on that point. She pushed back on him about his dark side. And you might remember at one point she even wore a wire to entrap him. And that was like a whole thing. But eventually she decided loving him was more important than her objections to his criminal lifestyle. They tried to get married once and he didn't show up, but then they finally did marry. But then she wanted him to adopt her son and he just didn't want to bond with the kid and that broke them up. And then she went back to Italy after one more time of them trying to make it work. Remember she showed up gosh, like a decade ago, and they had this will they, won't they, and then she just jetted out, and it was kind of like, why did she even show up? But many fans really think that Brenda and Sonny are in game if Vanessa Marcel would come back to GH. What do you think? Brenda and Sonny, yay or nay? What about Lily Rivera? Do you remember her? That is a blast from Sonny's romantic past. Back then, He met Lily Rivera when she was in love with someone else, and he was still with Brenda. 
But then Brenda cheated with Lily's guy and everything blew up. That blew Sonny and Brenda apart. And the one good thing about Lily Rivera in particular for Sonny was that she totally got his mob boss lifestyle. Why? Do you remember who her dad was? He was a Puerto Rican mob boss. So she grew up as a mafia princess. She fell hard for Sonny, and then she had convinced her dad to save him from prison when he was going to go down for a crime, which is very rare. You know, he's the Teflon Don. But uh, Mr. Rivera got him off. She fell really hard for Sonny, and they got married. But Brenda was still on the show and still causing problems. Lily was a really good influence on Sonny. You know, she helped him put his family back together, reunite with his dad, Mike Corbin, and other things. But Brenda just kept scheming and throwing herself in Sonny's path, and it finally worked, and he and Lily split up. But then Lily turned up pregnant, and he was like, eh. He said he was going to be a good husband, and he sidelined Brenda and went back to Lily. But by then, Lily's dad was so pissed off about him cheating on his daughter with Brenda that he decided to blow up Sonny and kill him. And in scenes ripped from The Godfather, basically, you know, she ended up in Sonny's car and got blown up. So her dad killed her. And that cruel death haunted Sonny for a long time because if he hadn't been running around with Brenda, then her dad wouldn't have planted the bomb that ultimately killed Lily. So it was very messy. And some people do think that even though their connection was so long ago, they were soulmates, but with her dead, it doesn't look like there's going to be any future soulmate action. So that's the main vote against whether she was meant for him or not. Then there was a couple of people that were related to each other that he got involved with, which isn't really surprising. Uh, let's look at Olivia Falconeri and Sonny Corinthos. She has been in Sonny's life since he was a kid. Olivia and Sonny went to high school together. She was his high school sweetheart. She got pregnant when she was 15, but she never told him that she was pregnant. By the time that she was pregnant, he had already moved on to her cousin, Connie Falconeri, who you might also know by the name Kate Howard. There's a little more on her in a second. In the end, both Olivia and Connie wound up in Port Charles, both with these lingering ties to Sonny from their teenage years. Things got really bad with Olivia when Sonny shot her son, who was undercover cop Dante Falconeri. Of course, Sonny had no idea that he had shot his son with Olivia because he didn't know Olivia had a kid. He didn't know he got her pregnant. So that was a big deal. Uh, they also had a, a romance of their own that rekindled later in life. You know, Olivia has those premonitions, and in one of those, she saw Sonny being shot, and so she tried to stop it, and she was shot instead, and when she saved his life, that re-sparked the flame between them, but then that fell apart when Sonny had a very naughty one-night stand with a very bad woman. That bad woman was Ava Jerome, and we're going to talk about her more in just a few minutes. So Olivia walked away from Sonny over his creepy crypt sex, and then she just, she wasn't going to have it. And so the good news for Olivia is despite other shady romances along the way, she's now happily married to Ned Quartermain with no signs of looking back. So although we mention Olivia for the purposes of rounding out the list of the women Sonny's been with, it sure seems like that her soulmate is Ned and that she and Sonny aren't meant to be together but you might have a difference of opinion. Share it in the comments. So now let's skip to Olivia's cousin, Connie Falconeri, who was primarily known on General Hospital as Kate Howard. Were she and Sonny soulmates? Maybe. She's another one that's dead, and that's why she's out of contention. But until she died, they were very hot and heavy. You can't talk about Sonny's past and his teen years without talking about both Olivia and Connie Falconeri. But when Connie first came to Port Charles, she was going by the name Kate Howard. She was this successful fashion icon. Eventually, Sonny figured out that Kate was Connie, 
another of his high school sweethearts. Way back in the day, back in Bensonhurst, after he'd broken up with Olivia and started dating Connie, they planned to elope, but then she decided she did not want to be a mob wife. She decided to put herself first, headed off to college, walked away from him. They were supposed to meet, and she just never showed up. Then she pops up as Kate Howard, which was her new name for her new life, but then we find out that she had these serious mental health issues. You might not remember that, but she had an alter ego named Connie, her childhood name that she had put away, and she had committed a whole bunch of dastardly crimes. She finally got her head together and had therapy and her alter egos all condensed into one solid personality. And at that point, she was in a grown-up love triangle with Sonny and Olivia. But then Kate and Sonny decided they were going to be together for good. Only she was murdered, and it was one of Sonny's other flings that did it, Ava Jerome. But we can't discount Kate, even though she's dead. He was really smitten with her, both as a teen and as an adult, and they were going to get married again, and then a bullet ended all that. But do you think that Kate Howard might have been Sonny's soulmate? Maybe. Another candidate on Sonny's long, long list of lovers that, again, we're including for reasons of comprehensive coverage, but who, to me, has never fallen anywhere on the soulmate scale is Sonny and Alexis Davis. They had what I'll call a blink and miss it fling. Back in the day, they had one night of passion, although that was after months of buildup. So it really barely counts as a fling. But back then, Alexis was his attorney, and that was long before Diane Miller came along. Back then, Alexis disapproved of his mob lifestyle, but she harbored a major crush on him, and she was his attorney, but she was very torn because she didn't really want to be in the murky gray areas with him. But they also kept running into each other. They lived in penthouses across the hall from each other, and they had some things in common, like similar bad childhoods. And they did some bonding, and he flirted with her, and she was completely smitten with him. I don't know if you remember Alexis back in the day, but she was like hot and heavy for him. And at that time, Sonny was on one of his many, many breaks with Carly, and he and Alexis had this night of passion after months of flirting. Only Carly saw them, and then she ran off upset and got hit by a car and supposedly died, but she was only, you know, soap opera dead. So the guilt of Carly seeing them and running into the road kind of split the thing that was barely happening with Sonny and Alexis. Not that long after, Carly comes back from the dead, and of course, he runs back to her. But Alexis walked away from that night of passion with a souvenir, and that souvenir was Christina Corinthos, their daughter. They had never got romantic again after that, and it's kind of safe to say that they're not soulmates because at this point they have zero chemistry and they barely interact as parents since their daughter has grown. But we'd be neglectful if we didn't mention Alexis as part of his romantic history. Finally, this is one of my favorite pairings, but it was one of those blink and miss it things, but they still have an ongoing active relationship as co-parents. That is Sonny Corinthos and Ava Jerome. Is there some chance that former mob boss Ava might be Sonny's soulmate? A lot of people like their chemistry together and their edginess, and they do have a lot in common. Even now, when they chat in scenes, it's just palpable. They have just this great way to play off each other. So let's talk about Ava Jerome, even though they were never in love, not even for a hot minute. The only thing they ever loved was loving to hate each other. But there's that chemistry. She and Sonny have the mob in common. You might recall she was once the boss of the Jerome crime family, and it was her that murdered his sweetheart, Connie, because Connie was digging and found out that Julian Jerome was alive and in Port Charles. Remember, he was living under another name then, and she was planning to cover it, and so Ava protected her brother by murdering Connie. So that's not really the way to win a guy over, is by murdering his fiance. That 
was just the tip of the iceberg of what Ava did to Sonny, though. She messed with his mind. She knew he was bipolar. She tried to get him to stop taking his bipolar meds. She was sleeping with Morgan Corinthos and was messing with his bipolar meds. She's just rotten. She's gotten to be a lot better of a person in recent years. And Ava also gaslit Sonny into murdering A.J. Quartermain. You might remember that when Connie was dying, she wrote A.J. in blood. She meant Ava Jerome, but you say A.J. and you think, oh, A.J. Quartermain. And so Ava kept that alive and basically tricked him into murdering A.J. And of course, A.J. knew Ava was guilty, so this was a great thing for Ava. But then at A.J.'s funeral, that's when things turned physical between them. You might remember it because Sonny and Ava shagged in a crypt at the cemetery, and she turned up pregnant, which was very timely because Sonny had figured everything out and was holding a gun on her, and she said, oh, you can't kill me. I'm pregnant. And he's like, is it my baby? She's like, I don't know. It's either yours or your son Morgan's. So if he killed her, he was killing either his child or his grandchild, and so that saved her life. They have been in a hate-hate relationship for a decade. But could it change? Who knows? Their daughter, Avery Corinthos, is still pretty young, and they're still very involved in each other's lives. General Hospital shows no signs of pairing them together. Not a one. And for that reason, Soulmate seems like a long case. But there's still that chemistry, and scenes with them are just so fun and dynamic to watch. So while they're not soulmates and they're not involved right now, you never know where General Hospital is going to go in the future. So... Another person in Sonny's romantic past that we have to talk about because they did fall for each other and they had a child together is Sonny and Sam McCall. Now, again, this is someone who you look at and you say, oh, well, Jason was Sam's soulmate. And now she's in a deep romance with Sonny's son, Dante. But way back in the day, she and Sonny were involved. Do you remember that? Back then, she was this consummate con woman, and he was an extremely violent mobster. He had tried to murder one of the Alcazars and was running from one of the crime scenes when he ran out in front of her and then took her hostage and made her drive him away from the scene. Despite that bizarre start, you'd think that would be just, you know, a no-go, a deal breaker. Sam started falling for him, and they hopped in bed together, and she got pregnant. As you know, if Sonny is alone with any woman with a uterus for more than five minutes, he will impregnate her. I don't think it matters how old she is or even if they have sex. I don't know. He breathes on people, and they get pregnant. But once again, he ran back to Carly and left Sam hanging, and then she started seeing Jason Morgan. So when she turned up pregnant, there was the whose is it question because she had also been involved with Jax at the time. It turned out that her baby was indeed Sonny's, but it was Jason that went through labor and delivery with her, and baby Lila died at birth. But her cord blood saved the life of another of Sonny's kids, Christina Corinthos. Since then, Sam was mostly about Jason. Now she's with Dante. So would she and Sonny ever circle back around to each other? Maybe. I mean, they do have some nice chemistry together and they do have a rich history, but it doesn't feel like General Hospital's going there. But we'd be neglectful not to include her. Now, we're on the most current romance, Nina Reeves and Sonny Corinthos. There's a faction of fans that hate this pairing, and there's a lot that really like it, and they like the changes that they've made with Sonny's character since the whole Nixon Falls amnesia incident. So we certainly can't discount that the show might write Sonny and Nina as soulmates. Right now, Sonny's completely smitten with Nina Reeves. But I will say it's very hard to imagine that the GH writers would have gone there when Michelle Stafford was in the role. She had this almost frantic energy in that character. She has that same frantic energy now playing Phyllis over on Young and the Restless. That's just Michelle Stafford. She's just like this tall, jittery giraffe, you know? <laughs> And Cynthia Watros plays Nina much more calmly. Even when she gets worked up, she has like one-fifth of the energy level of Stafford. So that makes her just a very different 
Nina. So when they recast her after YNR Lord Michelle Stafford back over to them and she walked out of the role, everything changed about the character. And that's also the time that they decided to basically do a huge sea change in Sonny's character, give him amnesia, and then have them fall for each other. So despite their strange start, when he was amnesiac Mike bartending in Nixon Falls and she found him, they've really grown together and matured. There's a huge faction of fans that absolutely hate this pairing, and they're really, they remain pissed off about the memory loss storyline. A lot of people are just hardcore Carson fans, you know, the Carly plus Sunny smush name. But then there's another slice of fans who like seeing Sunny with someone new and not him just running back to Carly, running back to Carly. And one good thing about Nina is that she doesn't seem to mind his mob life. She totally understands his mental health concerns, having had some herself in the past. She's just really happy to have him in her life. And in fact, she wanted to kind of keep everything down low because she didn't want to cause him more problems once his memory came back. But it was Sonny who pushed to take their relationship public. And then he pushed everyone in his family to accept that they were together. And that seems to have worked. There's plenty of people that still don't like her, but they have totally accepted that they're together. So the big question is, is Nina Sonny's soulmate? Well, that probably depends on who you ask. For certain, they're smitten with each other. And she gives him that warm feeling and she's extremely supportive no matter what he does and vice versa. He's very supportive of her. So if you look right now, really it comes down to, for most people, is it Nina or is it Carly? That's Sonny Corinthos's true soulmate. While some people still maintain that it's Brenda, the likelihood that Brenda will ever be back long-term on the ABC soap is very unlikely, very unlikely. She'll tease fans occasionally, but it does not look like she's coming back. And if she did, it'd just be so doubtful that it would be to stay. So really, it comes down to what you think. As a soap fan, do you think that Carly is his soulmate? Do you think Nina is his soulmate? Or do you think it's one of these many, many other women that we've mentioned? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.